Hello, my friends. We are back in my single player world and we have so many things to work on. Um, some really important stuff today, actually. I was going to go looking for a witch hut, but then Nash posted a raid farm design and posted that he has an even simpler and faster one. So yeah, we're going to wait and just build a raid farm when Nash publishes that. But while I was looking for said witch hut, I did find a couple of spots where we could potentially find some doggos. So obviously we have to go look for the doggos first. All right, here's the first spot. We have an old growth pine taiga here. Let's see, ooh, 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 lush cave and everything. That is very neat. We will not be taking a look today. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for, let's see, I have some bones in my inventory. There we go. We're looking for the doggos. Hello, doggos, doggos, doggo, doggo. Well, this area over here is all snowy taiga, and I do think that there's a kind that spawns in snowy taiga, if I recall correctly. But uh, we'll get back to this in a second, because we need to get going on a couple of things. Now, if we fly down this coastline a little bit, this is a really gorgeous area. I am a fan. There it is. Okay, perfect. This is perfection, actually. Oh my goodness, I couldn't have planned it any better myself. And I believe this was all generated originally. Like, this is early world generation. But we have a pillager tower here. Ooh, I wonder if there's a laze here. Because, like, that's a lot of cages. It can't just all be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... Ah, they're all pillager cages. Not pillager, iron golem cages. But anyways, this is all original world generation. And I think that this is around where we're going to build our raid farm. Because our raid farm is going to be out over the ocean. Which, like, this is a perfect spot for it. And the design that I wanted, like, the area to integrate with was kind of these large hills and cliffs. But here's the thing, guys. As we've been exploring the world and expanding it, we really need a reliable way to get back and forth between all the different areas. Our main project today is going to be digging out nether roof tunnels and laying out the design for that. We're not going to do the hub or anything today because that's going to be a whole other thing. Um, but we know where the hub is and we're going to need to set up the tunnels to connect with it. All right. We are going to head off into the nether and start just digging up these tunnels a little bit. Okay, so I think we're going to do basically a circle with a radius of 15. What kind of noise is that? That sounded like an alien spaceship. What is going on in this world? All right, my friends. Here is our uh, new and improved nether hub area. We are not working on this today, um, but what we should do is we should expand this portal so that it is actually the proper size. Now, obviously this means that our our ice boat tunnels get lowered significantly. So, what the plan is, is we are going to have obviously four main ice road tunnels, and each of them is going to be color coded a little bit differently. Actually, a lot bit differently. While I still have a lot of materials to gather, these are the basic color palettes for each, each tunnel. Since this one goes out towards our ice area, um, it's going to be a very white and blue kind of color palette. And all of my color palettes for these tunnels are inspired by different types of crystals. So this one is very heavily inspired by Larimer, 
So that's what the name of the tunnel is going to be. Over here is going to be a tunnel heavily inspired by Aragonite. And I'm obsessed with the pink and orange palette. And I definitely have some more materials together for that one. Obviously, we'll be using things like wood types as well. So cherry wood and acacia will be making their way into this palette. This is the first palette that I came up with, and it's going to be our north tunnel inspired by Kunzite. And then this, this tunnel going south is going to be inspired by a very specific color palette of one of my all-time favorite crystals, Ocean Jasper. Now, for the sake of understanding how our tunnels are going to be designed, let's take just a quick little peek at the design using this particular color palette. We will have a single wide strip of ice running down the center with iron bars on each side. And then we'll have an elevated walkway on either side like so. Also, I am well aware that it is playing with fire, quite literally, to be using uh, different wood types, but you know what? We're, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk it for the biscuit. So yeah, this is the approximate shape that I think we want to go for for each tunnel. And of course, things like spacing between the pillars will change. And obviously from tunnel to tunnel, the colors are going to change. And we do need to make sure that these are appropriately spawn proofed. So I'm gonna have to think on that for a second. But for now, I'm going to get busy digging and starting to just kind of place blocks. And I will bring you guys back when there's something interesting to show. Okay, I have designed the first segment of each tunnel. And then from there, obviously, we'll just kind of keep expanding them. Each pattern design is 16 blocks from the pillar to the block next to the next pillar. Um, so 15 blocks in between pillars. And... I really am loving how they're looking. Um, obviously, we kept the same shape through all of them and then just changed up our colors and our materials and also the motifs on the walls. So in this one, for example, this is our Ocean Jasper one, which is like known for having a lot of just round patterns, right? Um, and we do have in this one a fun little gradient into nether rack, which we'll try not to do too many big patches of it, but it does help with the color, like palette, I think. All of them should be perfectly spawn proofed at this point. I had, I, I don't know where it came from, but I had a Zoglin through my portal one time going through, and then I've had like piglins going through and stuff, and I don't know where these things are spawning. One of the things that I'm really loving about how the different designs are working themselves out is that they're all different shapes. So obviously like our ocean jasper is very circular where our aragonite is very vertical, very um, linear. And I might even try adding some like granite walls into some different spots too. And then of course we have our kunzite design, which is a lot more like angular, but also not organized like something like a uh, zircon would be very cubic right um and then we have the larimar which is more rounded but still very random shapes and and like sizes i really love all the different feels of all the different tunnels and these make me very happy <laughs> Also, we're using some of the copper trap doors. I, I keep forgetting that, you know, we have a bunch of new copper blocks and I need to be using them. Um, this is a perfect spot for them, though. We're letting them get to this, uh, this level. Now, one of the things that I still have left for a couple of these tunnels is our lights. Because, obviously, sea lanterns and shroom lights don't go with all of these tunnel designs. I want to use frog lights, so I want pearlescent frog lights there. And I thought I was going to use uh, Verdant, but I think I might end up going with Ochre because this ended up a little bit more brown colored than I thought it was going to be. Here's the thing, though. Um, obviously, we're going to build this above the nether roof. And I don't know. Oh, wow. Is that my cherry portal? Oh, it's amazing what a larger render distance will do for your gameplay. 
I don't know that I have actually encountered a um, Basalt Delta yet. Yeah, yeah, I only have four out of five. Wow. Wow. Why is the entire nether crimson forest? This is the worst biome. Oh, this feels like nether wastes. Hey, that's good. No, nope, we're back in crimson forest. Oh, dear. <gasps> there it is! Well, and the good news is, we clearly know where the nearest mangrove swamp is. So all we gotta do is grab some slime balls and some buckets and head out on our way. Mangrove swamps have a really interesting generation and also I love the watercolor. So I definitely need to build in a swamp someday. Come on, buddy, this way. I think I spotted another frog, come on. Gotta come with. Didn't grab leads, leads would have made this slightly easier. Come on, come on. Hello guys. All right, we go one, two. What, the, what is happening here? Oh no, you guys come back here. There we go. The tadpoles have hatched before either of you have laid your next set of eggs. What on earth? June? We got a bucket bucket. Tadpoles and exactly two of them, perfect. There we go. I definitely haven't been staring at mangrove trees for like 30 minutes. It's fine. It's okay, I still love the biome. Rivers will grow temperate biome frogs. Excellent, so that means we can like raise two of them. Hello! Hello, froggy friends. Let's get you two. Get you two moving. Hello, froggy. Oh, the other one is all the way over there already. Fish. You guys are crazy, you know that? Yep, and we lost one. <laughs> Let's just grow up our tadpoles in this little spot. <laughs> Frogs! One frog, specifically. Come on, everybody. And thus we continue in this world the tradition of walking along the nether roof with a bunch of mobs in tow. Look at that. We made it, guys. Now, we'll place that down. And I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory to deposit. But I will come back here and build a frog light farm here shortly, soon, eventually. But I will see you again when I have frog lights. And after we've run a little time lapse of nether digging. Well, well, we have done it. Mostly, kind of. We have one, two, and three very long nether tunnels. This tunnel doesn't really go anywhere because I don't have anywhere for it to go. I don't have anything out in this direction, so I'm, I'm going to need to change that. I am going to change the direction of our striping, though, and make it horizontal instead of vertical. I think that fits the Argonite, Aragonite, I don't, I, I don't know how you say it, guys. Anyways, it fits the, the structure of the crystal more, so we will change that. But these ones are looking fantastic, well underway. I haven't quite finished the walls in the Ocean Jasper, as you can see, the Ocean Jasper or the Kunzite tunnels. 
but I have enough of them up to at least somewhat give us an idea of what things are going to be. I was thinking about making these walls even more detailed than this, but we're just going to be whizzing by them at top speeds anyways, so there's not really a point, and there's going to just be more and more and more of them. So that would be a lot of work. Our Larimer Tunnel, which I don't know. I don't know which one's my favorite. I love them all, but this one is finished all the way to the end. Except, you know, this will go even farther because it needs to eventually connect up to our stronghold. But our frozen area portal should be just back there a little bit. But I really, really love how each tunnel has such unique color profiles and they're, just, they're gorgeous. Also, we clearly have a frog light farm that's functional now, so that's great. So now what we need to do is we just need to pop in some portals. The rest of the tunnels are functional. They just need their actual destinations. There we go. Just a little combo of lights and glass, uh, obviously coordinated with whatever part of the tunnel we're in, but just enough to give a little bit of a crystalline feel. I hear it, there we go. And light it up. And now we just need to jump. Should be good, but. Yay, we connected up to here, which like, oh, that portal is problematic as well, but it's fine. We'll make everything pretty around our portals eventually. We won't be working on these tunnels or anything like that. Currently, we just need to get the portals in. Okay, we're gonna need to do something to this floor so that we don't get hot bones in here because that's not good. Um, but we can put in the portal. All right, listen, I know we've already learned our lesson about not spawn proofing with carpets in the nether, but hear me out. We're, we're, we're not exactly working with blazes here. So, carpet it is. All right, there we go, all spawn proofed. Let's check out the portal, make sure it's all linked up correctly. I probably should have done that first. No, it's fine. Excellent. Here we are at the creeper farm. We can almost see our big portal on the hill over there. You know, the fun thing about these tunnels is that you can take multiple forms of transportation through them. You can boat through them. You can, of course, fly through them very easily. And you can walk, and you could honestly ride a horse through them, too, if you wanted to. There we go. All of these portals are well and connected up. Now, we need to add a portal to the world that I haven't added yet. So for this last one, we are going to take a little bit of an overworld trip. We came out here on a recent live stream and built this wood farm, which is Nicolier's 12-type wood farm. The most recent update to his upgrades would be an Exo Forest tree farm. Yeah, I, it's it's confusing. There's a lot. It's fantastic. It's how we've had the resources to do all of the work that we've been doing for the Nether Tunnel. And we need a portal out here so I don't keep flying 2,000 blocks over the overworld terrain. This area will eventually be uh, different tree farms, dirt farms, mud farms, terracotta farms, etc. And I think think that I want our portal to end up coming out about here. All right, it's definitely going to be dead of nighttime when we go through, which is great. Fantastic, no problems at all. That area is well lit. I don't know why we'd ever have an issue. All right, well, we're going to be ready to fly. Yeah, dead of night. But we did connect up to the portal, which is fantastic. But we have an especially important mission that we need to take. We need to retame. We already have two of this color of wool, but in order to get the achievement, yeah, we need one of those guys again. So much faster doing this when we have a big old path through the nether. All right, now we're gonna head over this way because here's the thing. Up here we have a lovely new friend who also doesn't have a name yet. We found this doggo on stream the other day and it was good fun. We have the chestnut one upstairs as well as a few of the OG wolves. 
And then of course we have our little foresty dog here and our little ready jungle doggo here as well, who was, if you'll recall, our very first new wolf in this world. I want to go back to that snowy taiga and see if we can't get somebody there. And if not, we can continue down over by our wood farming area. Actually, that might be the better way to go. There they are. There they are. Oh, hello, you lovely doggos. Oh, I love you so much. Hello, and we'll only take one. Come along, little doggo. You do so good. Now you're in my way. There we go. You're so cute. So that means, let's look at our advancements. That means, I think it's in husbandry. You have the complete catalog, which I only have three done. And the whole pack. So I have five of the doggos at the moment. Definitely need more cats, though. I have had bad cat luck in this world. They're all, they're all like one of those three colors. I have several cats all over the place here. Now, before we wrap up for the day, I've had a couple of thoughts about the detailing on this interior. We obviously need a little bit more. And I kind of missed it on the whole, you know, greenhouse interior kinds of vibes. Like, obviously piles of work things are great, but now that we have our collection system down in here, we can go ahead and fill this little bit of space out as well. Because, I mean, come on, what else would you have in a cute little solarium like this if not an adorable little gardening bench? Let's see, if we add a couple more trap doors. No, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the ends and make a cute little corner. And then we just need to cover this in so many things, you know? We need pots, we need uh, item frames with gardening shears, which conveniently also double as, you know, shears for harvesting honey out of beehives. Yes, I know it's uneven also. That is on purpose, though actually, now that I think about it, I should probably shift it to be uneven in the other direction because right now it's lined up with these. Now that lantern makes it too bright in here. And I think for the final piece of the perfect touch, we need to go visit an old friend. Hello, my lovely Sniffer Snuffs. Oh, my beautiful beans. Hello, Snort and friends. Oh, I love you. We definitely need to do more in this area. I have plans for this area, actually. Ah, there we go. That's where I started storing. Ah, all those seeds, those lovely, lovely seeds that you guys give me. And we just plant that there and it will go ahead and grow itself up and be an excellent little addition to our cute little solarium here. Okay, my friends, as we're wrapping up here, I have had something happen that I never ever expected would happen. We've got fan art. I'm sorry, what? We've had two pieces of fan art in the last few weeks, couple of weeks. A few weeks by the time you see this, definitely. The first one was from Grain Is Not Green or Soy Milk on YouTube. And they made this adorable little sketch of my player character. And I love how they gave her antlers. And, uh... It said, you know, maybe it's the Ice Castle and Reindeer Association, and I'm like, oh, I can, I can pull that into my lore. We can do reindeers. It's so cute, and the cane that they gave me is also, like, the, the handle is just like the handle of my actual IRL cane. It's a derby handle, and I just love that that happened like that. It's very cute, and what? So adorable. And then the second one was given to me a week ago, um, live on stream, which was fun. If you haven't been uh, seeing the Phasmophobia streams I've been doing, they're over on the second channel along with all the other streams. It's been fun. There's lots of screaming. This one was commissioned by Ixi and drawn by Bloody Sparkle, and I'll put your name on the screen with little cute X's too. Um, and... 
It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Just everything about it. The colors are so bright and vibrant and happy. And just the style is really cute. And I love the, like, interpretation of my Minecraft character. And the TNT is just perfect. Uh, what? This is crazy, you guys. And I love that the reindeer antlers continue to make it into the interpretation of my character. That is fantastic. And I just, I just love these, you guys. Oh, I uh, may have almost started crying on stream. It's fine. I just... Ixies came with a super sweet message about how, like, what I've talked about in videos has impacted them. And that's just, like, that blows me away. That somebody on the other side of the planet is impacted by something that I just said and put out there on the internet. And was really nervous about putting on the internet, too. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Like hearing from you impacts me so much too and i just we're all in this together all of you are amazing keep on being you and being amazing and thanks for building this community with me we have accomplished so much in this episode i'm just so happy so so happy to have this uh infrastructure in this is going to make a huge difference in what I'm able to do in the world as we add more and more regions. I'm so excited for my future plans. I don't even know what I'm going to be doing next. It all depends on if uh, Nash's Raid Farm comes out anytime soon. Uh, if it doesn't, we may be building another Raid Farm or Witch Farm or something because I need redstone, guys. I need so much redstone. Because the more redstone contraptions we have, the more resources we have to build things. Which is, of course, the point of this world. Anyways, do let me know what you think of these tunnels and which one is your favorite. I'm going to go ahead and continue doing some finishing up on the walls and things like that here. And we'll just do a little time lapse as we leave this video. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!